So guys, welcome back to the channel like always. And today I have a keyboard to show you guys. And no, it's not this one. It's actually this guy right here. It's called the Uptech Emoji Wireless Keyboard. Now you can actually find it at five below. As you can see, it's $10. This does take a AA battery. Um, if you have a rechargeable battery that will work for you. And just in case you're wondering, for all the people out there, no, this is not a Bluetooth keyboard. Believe it or not, it actually comes with a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. For the people that aren't aware of what that is, let me give you an idea. This is a dongle. This is typically the piece that plugs into like uh, some keyboards come with these that don't have Bluetooth capability or they use 2.4 gigahertz because the connection is a lot stronger than Bluetooth a lot of the times because all Bluetooths are not created equally. Anyway, with that being said, 10 whopping dollars. Got it at five below the 10 and below or well, 10 and beyond section. And if you're interested, watch the full video because I think this is going to be pretty interesting. I actually plan on using it for myself. It says key life is one million times. Okay, that's kind of random. I doubt they actually tested that out. But nevertheless, for $10, I actually think that this is a pretty cool looking product so far. Let's get into this review and not waste any more time. So just in case you guys are wondering, the only thing this keyboard comes with is the actual dongle itself, which will be in the back of the keyboard. I'll show you where to find it when you first open it. You do have the actual instructions right here, which we'll go over because it gives you some hot keys and how to use some of these right here where it says built in emoji shortcut keys. It actually explains how to use a lot of that stuff. And then um, this little paper film goes over it. I just slipped the keyboard right out. And naturally this is the box itself. So the first things first, Let's just take a look at the keyboard and see how well built it is. Now, I am going to compare it to another keyboard, the Atrix right here. You saw that in the beginning of this video, the Atrix. I just want to compare the both of them. Obviously, the Atrix is going to be a lot more responsive in terms of button presses, but I don't think that this one is bad for the $10 price tag. Now, with that being said, uh, let's compare the two. Now, first off, this is a little bit bigger. This is not a bad keyboard. So far, it looks like it has 86 buttons. And as I look at some of the buttons here, you can definitely tell that there are more buttons on this keyboard. You have some extra additions like the emoji buttons over here. I'm not sure there's anything else that really stands out compared to that one. Hey, it does. The F12 keys are, you have F1 all the way to F12. You also have your extra keys delete. Some of these uh, don't have delete buttons that work properly. Let me explain. In order to delete on this one, I believe you had to actually hold with a controller FN, I forget which one, I think it's function, and then actually press delete, which is the M right here, which requires a whole lot more work. So if you hit control alt delete, no, no, you're hitting control alt delete and FN or control, one of the two. And that is how you actually pull up that sequence, which is going to be a pain for a lot of people. I don't really suggest that personally. I don't like that at all. Versus this keyboard, where it seems like, you know, the buttons, the placement of the buttons are nice in my opinion. I think it's a pretty cool looking keyboard. Granted, if you're one of those people like me where you shop for keyboards all the time and you do reviews or you switch computers and stuff, I go to Micro Center on a regular basis and I shop off Amazon. So this isn't the newest thing in the world. But to be able to go to a five below and see something like this for $10, I don't think that's bad at all. But anyhow, more importantly, as soon as you pop this open, this is where the actual dongle is going to be. I already have a, a AA battery in here. Now, it doesn't come with one. You do have to get your own AA battery in order to plug this in. In addition to that, because it's 2.4 gigahertz, I know some people have problems with Bluetooth on their computers where it's not that responsive. It doesn't work that well. But so far, having this plugged up, it doesn't, it functions just like a normal keyboard. Like, I don't have any issues with lag so far. But I'm going to show you guys a little typing test, which is going to be terrible, by the way, if I can't type to save my life. But nevertheless, I just want to show you how responsive the buttons are. Uh, lastly, when you press them in, to be honest, this is a pretty quiet keyboard in my opinion compared to, but this, you could definitely tell, feel the springs or uh, again, I'm not sure the mechanism underneath these keys, but this one feels good, but it just doesn't feel as responsive. It doesn't feel like it's, um, you could definitely tell the difference in quality while something like this cost me 20 something dollars, which is reasonably priced in my opinion. I think it was on sale as a matter of fact. This is $10, but for the $10 price tag, you can't go wrong. But anyway, um, the keyboard won't actually function until you plug it up. I'm going to do that now. You'll hear the noise. There we go. So now the keyboard is actually plugged up. Um, just give it a second to actually register. I'm going to hit caps lock. Here we are. So 
when the lights come on, if you already have this sequence on, uh, that, that's a number lock, I believe, automatically, um, it works very well. Like, I don't have any problems whatsoever. It responds immediately when I do key presses. I like the keyboard so far. And the best part about it is that it actually does match my mat. And that's one of the reasons why I picked it out. It, outside of vanity, it's the only reason. But I did think this is a pretty cool keyboard. In addition to that, I really don't like cables like that. If I could live my life wirelessly, I would. And I'm not a fan of cables. And even though this does take a double A battery, you know, that's going to last quite some time. Like batteries tend to, I might replace my keyboard battery once a year. And that's pretty much it. Maybe twice if I leave it on for 365 days straight. But outside of that, I don't have any issues. I like this a lot so far. But anyway, more importantly, the real question is how well does this actually work when typing something in real time? And I'm going to show you that in the next section. Alrighty guys, so just so you know, this is the keyboard right here. As you can see, I am going to press the space button a bunch of times, hold it. See that space bar moving on the top? See me pressing keys? I just want you to know that I am in fact using the keyboard that I say I'm using. There's a lot of people that fake videos, like you know those little fun games where it looks like the guy's like, oh my gosh, let me run to the left, let me run to the right. Oh my gosh, I almost got hit. We both know they're faking it, but <laughs> nevertheless, um, so far, the keyboard feels good. So let me just kind of explain my experience. Normally, when you have keys like this right here, which is a lot more comfortable with the springs, or let me give you a different example real fast. Let's see. Unfortunately, um, this keyboard right here, I don't know what happened. My cat was playing with it and it's missing buttons. This is one of the, what do they call it, Azo, Azio. You hear the clicks, and these also are replaceable buttons they lift up. So certain buttons feel a lot more responsive, responsive, I'm sorry, underneath. When I press these, I don't have any slip ups, I don't have any issues. I also, I'm just pressing random buttons for you guys right now while I'm talking. Um, so far, the experience I had is actually pretty good with this keyboard. I don't have any issues whatsoever. Um, occasionally, now in order to obviously turn the volume up and down and things like that you do have to hit a function and you can hit f3 or f2 to change volume up or down you can fast forward you can pause you can play but you do have to hold the function button for that there are keyboards that are made and another example is something like this that has uh this is a microsoft keyboard that i use all the time and i just let my wife take it because you know she took her other keyboard to work some of these have plus volume on the side and including um, what is this called? Mute and things like that. I personally prefer the keyboard to have all that functionality because I keep my speakers at 100% and all I have to do is just control the volume from the keyboard itself. This isn't life or death though. That's just a little minor momentary gripe. Uh, another bad thing is that because this keyboard doesn't sit on an angle, I mean, I do have to sit closer to my desk in order to type with it, but I do plan on putting some things on the back of this because it doesn't have any um, actual what's the word kickstands built in a lot of uh, keyboards have kickstands built in especially full keyboards so i'm gonna have to put something behind this in order to have it sit up a little bit higher but i like it it feels good it feels very very comfortable uh the letters are very very responsive if you're one of those people where you damage stuff and you have juice and drinks and things right by your keyboard like me i haven't spilled anything on my keyboard so far you know that's awesome but I don't think that, you know, if you break this or spill something in it, you're, you you do have the ability to take the keys off, but I'm not even sure if you're really supposed to do that. Like I just pulled a key off right here, let me show you, the control, and it popped off. Uh, can you see that? You, you probably can't see it, but the point is that the control is right here, and I popped the key off. Let me place it back on to see how replaceable it is. Because you know what's funny? There are some uh, Five Below products where you have replaceable keyboards, and is it working? Yeah, yep, it's working. So everything does work very, very well for this particular keyboard. I like it a lot. I don't think that you as a consumer is gonna have a problem with it. And to be honest with you, like I said before, for the price tag, it's definitely worth the $10. I see myself using this, especially if you have a particular color aesthetic that you want. The ironic part is I actually have one of these keyboards too, right? And um, I actually can use it to turn the volume up and down when I'm in game. So I might use something like this occasionally, 
but that's not that's not realistic for the average person you're probably going to use this as a primary keyboard it's nice and makes your desk look really clean because you don't have any cords or anything and yeah i don't have anything negative to say about this keyboard whatsoever it does say it's up to one million clicks which come on one million clicks they never tested that i'm just going to be honest with you nine times out of ten they just probably um i'm just touching the keys to see how they respond <laughs> nine times out of ten whoops they probably uh just say that on the back of a product and they don't actually expect someone to do the one million press test because i doubt it's one million presses per button it's probably a couple hundred thousand or something but for the average consumer i'll be honest with you uh if you work in a state like i do or different places my wife works for the state also the keyboards they have they, they had these keyboards for over 10 years and i'm sure they are way out of their warranty but it just depends on how well you treat your particular product and i'll just leave it at that now with that being said um, I do want to go over one more section. It's basically to show you the instructions for the actual keyboard. And then after that, we'll close off and talk about whether this is actually worth the asking price. See how I structure my videos? <laughs> so for the part that you guys need to know, this is the instruction manual. Now, I showed you how to connect this. It's just USB, pop the battery out the back, you're good to go. But sometimes in life, you want to have your instructions for certain keys that you can't quite figure out. So I'm here to help you with that. It says this is not a toy. Keep away from under six years of age. Uh, keep away from heat and open flames. Well, that's any keyboard. <laughs> In case you're wondering, you keep all keyboards away from heat, flames, fire, volcanoes, explosions, all that stuff. Anyway, as soon as you open up this keyboard, right on the bottom, it does show you the keyboard. Oh, let me hang up on my wife. She's calling. There we go. It does show you the uh, keyboard configuration and operation down here. That's the images where the actual um, USB will be. But I already showed you that in the beginning of the video. You have your function keys right here, which again, you hit function. Function is the FN key that you see right here. You hold on to that. And if you press the sequence of buttons, the F1 buttons, they all do different things from media to decrease volume, uh, increase volume, mute previous track next track play music this is for the people that actually use the entire functionality of their keyboard i'm going to be honest with you i normally just click next song left and right things like that with the mouse some people use the keyboard for everything and know all the hot keys so this is going to come in handy with you so stop music web browser email and that's if you set it up that way f11 pc settings open the favorites list things like that here are your specifications instruction manual right here about the emoji part uh, apparently this has software believe it or not it says pc software once you have downloaded the retro emoji keyboard windows 1.0.20 zip file locate the file in your download folder and do all this I, i'll be honest with you i have no intention of actually setting up software for this in order to use the emoji buttons that's not the purpose that i bought this it was mainly for the aesthetic and just for view purposes for the person out there that actually wants to type emoji faces and things again good luck to you with that i personally don't do that if you guys request it i definitely will do that for you for video purposes but that's not something that i normally am, am really interested in i just wanted to show you a good deal for 10 bucks and quite frankly even without the emoji keyboard I would still pay $10 for this. I like it a lot. And hopefully you do too. So with that being said, like and subscribe like always, guys. And I will see y'all in the next video.